the distance between theory and practice. When you see this wide gap between haves and have nots, something has gone wrong in any civilized society. Forget about a spiritual society. Whenever you see a huge gap between people who have too much and people who have too little, this has to be addressed if you are a civilized nation. How can you allow this? Now, the, the reason why India suffers with this is precisely, in a way, due to religion. You'll be surprised. Because the Hindus have not really understood the law of karma properly in a mature manner, they allow this huge gap to continue. Because if you find a, you know, if you go to India and you see a rich man and outside his house somebody is starving, and you say, what about that person? The rich man will say, oh, no, no, it's the law of karma. He is gaining, if you like, because he must have done bad things in his past life. He deserves to starve now. We have done good things in our lives, so we deserve to have fun. Now, this is not understanding the law of karma in his full maturity. It's not just what that person has done. A lot of other things gang up and push him in a corner. So he's not to be blamed. So the, how do the Hindus, you know, how does the law of karma actually catch up with this rich man who said, oh, he deserves it? In very simple English. In his next life, he will be born at the lower level, lower rung of society, and will be starving. Because he has not really addressed the issue when he was in a, rich, in a position of being a rich man, if he had addressed the issue and said, okay, let's produce a more egalitarian society, let's reduce this gap between heaven and have nots, then if he was born on this side of the fence or that side of the fence, he'll be safe. But because he has allowed this huge gap, he's going to pay a price, low of averages. Next time he's down there. And somebody will say, yeah, he deserves it. So the law of karma can catch up in this unusual manner. The Hindus have not understood the law of karma in its full maturity. It's not what you set into motion, but what you fail to do has a habit of catching up and biting you in your backside as well. And this is why, because of the misunderstanding of the law of karma, the Hindus have allowed this big gap to continue to exist. So it's, if you like this more mature vision that comes from people like Vivekananda, we said nothing doing. You see a problem in front of you, you address it. So if there's a big gap, do something about it. Try and, you know, try and produce a more egalitarian society. And <coughs> look, nation, this nation has had lots of ups and downs. At the moment, I think it's one of the downs. Over thousands of years it survived. It had many ups and downs. This is not the first time it has got a bit of a dip. But I am very confident that in this life, my lifetime, this, this nation will start to rise again and address this serious issue of making sure this gap is reduced. Free e-learning course in Hinduism. To register, please visit www.hindu-academy.com. Talks on Hinduism. Sponsored by People Care. Encouraging caring for the elderly in their own homes. For more information, please visit peoplecare.com.